This short movie will show you how to subscribe to Attunity Cloudbeam's Files to S3 upload service and how to use Attunity MFT to automate data uploads to Amazon S3. When you log into the Attunity Cloudbeam web UI for the first time, or if you have logged in previously but not subscribed to a service yet, you will be prompted to subscribe. Click Continue, or if you are already subscribed to another Attunity Cloudbeam service, click the Subscribe button in the Subscriptions page. When the Service Subscription Wizard opens, choose the Files to S3 Upload service and then click Next. If this is the first time you are subscribing to a service, you will be prompted to enter your payment details. Note that your credit card will not be charged until you start using the service. Finally, click Buy to complete your subscription. To be able to use the Files to S3 Upload service for automating uploads, you need to download and install Attunity MFT. Email us with a brief description of your business process and we will send you a direct download link. Install Attunity MFT according to the installation guide and then open the management console. In the settings region at the top of the console, click the new link below the hosts item. The new host dialog box opens. In the context of Attunity MFT, a host is a data storage repository that can be accessed from the Attunity MFT server machine. The repository can either reside on a computer's hard drive or in the cloud. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to configure two hosts, a source host and a target host. The source host will be the Attunity MFT server machine itself, and the target host will be an Amazon S3 region. Because part of the source host definition requires you to specify the target address, you should always start by defining the target host. Although when uploading files to the cloud, an actual IP address is not required, the hostname IP address field cannot be left empty. In the hostname IP address field, enter Amazon underscore S3. In the host nickname field, specify a nickname for the host. For security and identification purposes, when transferring files to or from hosts, nicknames are used instead of the actual host name. Later, when you configure the source host, you will need to select the target host's nickname from the address book. In the Login Defaults tab, enter your Attunity Cloudbeam login credentials and then click Verify. This saves you having to enter your credentials again should you need to define additional Amazon S3 targets on the same host. Click the Target Directories tab and then click Add. The new Target Directory dialog box opens. Like the host, nicknames are used to represent the actual target location. Specify a target nickname and then click the Push tab. From the Protocols drop-down menu, select Attunity Cloudbeam. Remember that because you already specified your default login credentials earlier, all you need to do now is select Use Login Defaults. In the Target tab, make sure that the provider is Amazon AWS and that the subsystem is S3. When uploading files to Amazon S3, there are two ways of specifying the target destination. You can either select a resource that has been predefined on Attunity Cloudbeam, or you can manually specify the bucket details. Creating a predefined resource on Attunity Cloudbeam saves you having to manually enter the bucket details each time you need to upload files to the same bucket. In this tutorial, we're going to manually specify the bucket details. Once you have entered the target bucket details, Click OK to close the target settings, and then click OK again to save the host settings. Now that we've defined our target host, we can set about defining our source host. Remember that the files that we want to upload to Amazon S3 are located on the source host. In the main console window, click the new link below the host item again. Since we are going to be pulling files from the Attunity MFT server machine, type localhost in the hostname IP address field. Specify a nickname for the source host, just as you did for the target host. Click the Source Directories tab, and then click Add. Specify a name for the source, and then select SMB from the Protocol drop-down menu. In the Path field, enter the location of your source files. Make sure the Add Pull Job checkbox is selected, and then click OK. The new Pull Job dialog box opens. After telling Attunity MFT where the source files are located and how to transfer them, the next step is to tell Attunity MFT when to pull the files and where to push them to. 
Optionally, enter a description for the pull job. The description will help you identify the job and remember what task it is performing. Click the Schedule tab and then click the Scheduling button. There are several scheduling options available, such as weekly or daily at a specific time, but we're going to keep it simple and configure Attunity MFT to pull files every five minutes. Click the Pull tab and then select the Local Folder checkbox. Because the files are located on the Attunity MFT server machine as opposed to a network drive, there is no need to enter access credentials. Click the Send To tab and then click the To button. Expand the Hosts item and select the host nicknamed S3 Target, which you will recall is the nickname that we gave earlier to the target host. Click OK to close the address book. You will notice that the To field now contains the address of the target host, which consists of the host nickname and the target nickname. Click OK and then click OK again to submit the schedule job and start the first transfer of files from the Attunity MFT server machine to Amazon S3. The package load graph immediately indicates that a new package has been created. A package is essentially a folder containing the source files as well as various routing metadata such as the names of the recipients, whether the package has been encrypted and so on. As well as ensuring data integrity, packages also enable the creation of detailed audit trails and prove that the files originated from a legitimate Attunity MFT entity. Let's quickly check that the transfer was completed without any issues. At the bottom of the Packages window, we can see that the package was indeed transferred successfully. Double-clicking the package opens a detailed summary of the package properties, status, files and processing stages. Because the job is scheduled, we can also perform various actions in the Scheduled Jobs window, such as holding the job and manually submitting job instances if required. You can also view the job family to see the current status of the various child jobs that are involved in the transfer process. Transfers can also be monitored using the Attunity Cloudbeam web UI. Log into your account again or click the refresh button above the subscriptions list if you are already logged in. The active column shows the number of currently active tasks. Active tasks are tasks that are either running or completed, but that have not yet been billed. Click any of the tasks to see a summary of the task properties and current status. Clicking the number in the Archive column will show you a list of archive tasks. Click any of the tasks to see a summary of the task properties and current status. In the Archive Task Summary, you can also see the total size of files uploaded and access the task log file. As you have just seen, Attunity Cloudbeam's Files to S3 upload service, combined with Attunity MFT, offers an ideal solution for business processes that require automated and scheduled uploads to Amazon S3. In addition to the Files to S3 upload service, Attunity Cloudbeam also provides services for moving data between different cloud regions and uploading data to Amazon Glacier. To learn more about Attunity Cloudbeam's service offerings, please visit our website.